We start uh, at Twickenham, so let's go back to our match commentator, Nigel Starmer Smith. Welcome back, especially to all our viewers in the southwest of England. Great excitement in store, 40 minutes to go, and anyone's game. It's Lancashire then, in the narrow red striped jerseys. We start by impressive young Paul Grayson, who's made quite an impact, this 20-year-old. Bill Peters injured so early in the game last year such a key influence in success now has to wait and watch frustratingly from the stand and there'll be a brief uh, hold up here someone's uh, lost his way I think So it'll be Cornwall to drop out. Stuart Whitworth of Red Ruth. Hand to it by uh, Andy Reid. Knocked on. Lancashire put in. front row of tremendous experience John May and Richard Keyes the two props who've been in all the big days in the last five years for Cornwall winning possession though at Lancashire Grayson's kick charged down Nance Kibble was quickly through checked well to stay in field support couldn't uh, quite get there in time and Lancashire have got this one Swarbrick Grayson Nice run by Wynn. Pass a little bit behind Wellens. Offside by Lancashire. Just a little unnecessary uh, reaction from Ian Wynn. Nothing serious, just a quiet word from referee Ed Morrison. A touch by Kevin Thomas. Well, they stood and watched it. Meredith and Steve Bibby thought each that the other was going to uh, go for it. In the end, the ball fell right between them and into touch about six metres out from the Lancashire line. So, from Cornwall, snatch one here. Off Andy Yates, throw. Gathered up by Nigel Wilkinson for Lancashire. And a bit of pulling down in the line out. It's a penalty to Lancashire. A wonderful boot, I think. Um, Hopper. John Russell in the wars. trainer Kevin Murphy in attendance John Russell the Broughton Park captain 12 years with the club and playing his first full county championship game for Lancashire today
Finally, uh, Bibby caught hold of it. I think now it was uh, Kendrick. Bit of a dust up on the side. Swarbrick couldn't hold it. Well taken by Meredith. supporters just a little subdued a little anxious here understandably as Lancashire cling to their three-point lead and the ball's there somewhere with a few players around it the whistle's already gone Is fraying just a little. Referee not uh, terribly pleased about all that. Brings the war factions to one side. The two number sixes, Kenrick and Glenn Williams, the two captains, being asked to get the lads to cool it a bit. So, the referee telling the captains to have words with both packs and cool it last thing he wants is uh, anyone to be given marching orders that's the warning so Lancashire's feed Swarbrick waits if he holds Second surge by the Lancashire pack. Quite effective. And as Corn will go down and drop it on the far side, it's a full penalty to Lancashire. And is this within range for Paul Grayson? He's going to have a go. Fourth in the England point scoring rankings. Paul Grayson. 322 points this season. And 53 of those points, well, 55 now in this championship. So, a chance to make it a clear six point lead. speaking the more difficult side for the right-hand kicker As he has to try and uh, stop it from curling across the face of the post too far 6-3 it stands now Grayson that looks good oh that's a super kick 9-3 Lancashire ahead Eight and a half minutes played of the second half. And coolly done by the 20-year-old. Didn't touch a rugby ball till 1989, and here he is on the big day at Twickenham. The drum beats. Will the heartbeat be lifted by Cornwall now? Can they respond to the crowd? They've done it all before. Oft repeated, 16-3 down in last year's final. And then they produced an amazing comeback of 26 points without reply to win. Virtually. Whitworth, Leite, fullback Thomas. Well set up, well taken by Mead. Mead goes for the corner, tap tackle inside. But it's still there for Whitworth, no, a knock on. Well, the best move of the game. And that, 
I've always felt was where Cornwall's best chance lay with some superb handling here, brilliantly taken by the winger. Magnificent cover tackle, which I think was Wellens. And the ball touched forward. But that will give them heart. And perhaps we'll show them the way home. With a player like uh, Leite in the midfield, you must use that sort of talent to the full. No more than 10 metres out from the Lancashire line. If you're not happy with the initial put in. Here's Colin Leite, England student, Barbarian, Wales World Cup squad, Wales B. Penalty to Cornwall. And this time it's Lancashire under duress. So what will the choice here be for Glyn Williams? Looks like the tap penalty. Brave move this, deserves reward. So, the set piece. Will it be as good as the rehearsal? to Williams, trying to set it up for Atkinson, not so clever, but possession still coming, whistle's gone. Well, one would have thought that the example had been set, that Cornwall know they could win this one by moving it wide seemingly a little reluctant to do so, taking it back to the pack and then ultimately losing possession. Snipes has just put in, but Cornwall have got a bit of a head of steam up. They're just short of the line, the whistle's already gone. And the tension mounts. So, the crowd follow the rhythm. Meters out, Nats Kibble with the feed. Formal in control of the scrum. Second surge held by Atkinson, the number eight. It's, it's on here. They're still walking on, they're still going. It must surely be Atkinson. No try. So, they'll have to go for it again. And there could well be an injury uh, at the bottom of the heap, by the look of it. No, no way. Now the crowd's excitement builds. And no doubt they'll go for the pushover again. That's Kibbles, poised to move it and does. Whitworth through the middle, goes Thomas, he's held, five metres out. strange really because I thought that uh, the previous scrummage had shown that they were capable of the pushover that time they moved it wide and Lancashire's defence was stout indeed another foot in though to Cornwall what's the option this time that's Kibble Wakes Atkinson has it at his feet as they wait the second surge signal they move. Whistle's gone because the ball's gone more than the scrum's gone more than 90 degrees round. Cornwall on the roll. In front of the post, six, seven metres out. Jason Atkinson. Time the short break, Lance Kibble trying to duck and dive his way through. Penalty as Lancashire pile over the top after the tackle. And perhaps they'll take the three points here on offer for the kick. Lance Kibble and Leite. Leite is, I think, saying take the points. Glyn Williams has the decision to make. They're taking a scrum. Perfectly entitled to do that. They're going for the try. But 
There's a bit of a break-up on the far side. Well, one hoped that the tension wouldn't uh, take this form. Sparring and... Uh, just a bit of wild fisticuffs. And what's happening here? The referee goes across to uh, Chris Reese on the far side, the touch judge, to uh, receive advice from him. Number three, I guess. If it's Lancashire, it's Mark Reidhalsh. And number one is uh, John Russell. It's Russell who's uh, come there with Mike Kenrick. So a penalty it is. And what is going through Cornwall's minds now? Surely at this stage the three points on the board might make some sense, but they're brave, and all credit to them if it comes off. 16 minutes into the second half, 9-3 down. Second thoughts... Kevin Thomas for the kick at goal. Successful penalty goal out of two attempts, Kevin Thomas. No breaking time for the 22-year-old. Fireman from Edwards. It's over. The flags fly again. to within three points and as you can see about 23 minutes to go up the options his quick restart Jackson a bit hurried might be lucky on the bounce kept in play by weeks fires one down the line good kick too the call this season David Weeks of Camborne and has run in three good tries in this championship the man who took over from the great Tommy Bassett. <laughs> and senses Cornwall is stepping up a gear here. Nance Kibble, Whitworth. First dummy goes for the gap himself. Referee is playing advantage here to Cornwall for a knock-on at close quarters. None comes, so they'll get the put into the scrum. The crowd, well, almost all the crowd like that. But they'll wait for injury, Nigel Wilkinson. part of the Waterloo Second Row Partnership. And remarkably, the two of them, Nigel Wilkinson and Nick Allett, both products of King George V Grammar School, Southport, and ending up in Lancashire colours side by side. Many a day. Eleven years of a Waterloo player, Wilkinson, started out with uh, Southport. 
England under 23 international and Northern Division. Atkinson, Nance Kibble, Bick, Williams. Just certainly putting it together now, Cornwall. They look fit. Dave Thomas has done his stuff again, the coach. This is 17th year in charge of the side. His pinnacle of achievement, of course, 1991. Would love to make it a double. And so from the penalty, a chance again for Kevin Thomas. And this would put the scores level if he gets it. Cornwall's throw on Lancashire's 22. Cornwall who came through, beating Hampshire, Hertfordshire, losing by a point to Middlesex, but qualifying on points difference. And then in the repeat of last year's final, roundly defeating Yorkshire 22-3 in front of 14,000 at Red Roof. But they're trailing still here, nine points to six. Good work by Andy Reid again. 23-year-old former Bodmin player of Campbell. We're into the last quarter of the game, about 18 minutes to go. Lancashire's 22. Atkinson channeling it to protect Nance Kibble, Whitworth. Leighty, Brain, super tackle in the uh, midfield there by Brian Wellens. And the ball not released after the tackle, it's a penalty to Lancashire. Good work by Brian Wellens. Midfield for Grayson. made touch the drum beat resounds round Twickenham Cornwall Mount a challenge again, but Lancashire so far equal to all that's been thrown at them. Swarbrick, Grayson. This time the ball cutting inside. Kevin Thomas opting to wait no longer. Screws it down the line. Great kick. accomplished player equally at home in the centre but for the county he's full back playing his 24th game in the black and gold halfway line Andy Yates of Broughton Park not taken cleanly by uh, Tony Cook so Lancashire run win Wellens kick through Thomas covering Swarbrick, good service, Grayson, Wellens, Kenrick the link, 
that slice by Wynn. Meredith. Leite and the rest surround him, envelop him, down him. But Lancashire get the foot in. Quarter of an hour remains. And that, when you're trailing by a few points, is when the nerves start tingling. No less anxious times for the side that leads also by just three points. It's Lancashire in possession and in the lead. Swarbrick to Grayson. It's a thumping kick, dropping deep in the 22, an awkward bounce, anyone's ball. Brain to the rescue just. And a knock-on initially spotted by referee Ed Morrison gives Cornwall the comfort of the put-in. Richard Nance Kibble. 24-year-old, accomplished rugby-playing family, his younger brother Roland, also scrum half for Launston. Thomas, safe enough. Wellens win the link, but tight marking in the middle again by Leite and by Matthew Brain was effective. Very fast up. Pressure on the Lancashire midfield. Defensive efforts win the scrummage put into Cornwall. Well, Cornwall on their day out are still waiting for something to celebrate. Something like 280 coachloads of supporters, special trains, and innumerable vans and cars, and all manner of transport. Bringing Cornwall here. No party yet. Jackson. Thomas. Twelve minutes remain, whatever injury time there is to add on. 9-6, Lancashire lead. There's the only try of the game. William setting it up. That's Kibble, Whitworth, Leite. Playing for position, deep down the Lancashire half, good kick. Well, one uh, inspired moment from this renowned barbarian could turn the tide. Member of last season's Heineken League's winning Neath side. side have, have stuck well to their task they control possession again superbly uh, led by Kenrick and the line kicking of Grayson has been a feature of the match wise head on young shoulders as the 20 year old from Preston Grasshoppers
trying to uh, peer around the front, Vin Williams. It's come open now, Whitworth. A chip and chase. Again, I think it was Kenrick across to gather the uh, loose ball. With Jason Atkinson. But it's Cornwall's put in. away to the last 10 minutes off go Cornwall again Atkinson Nance Kibble Atkinson the return pass but it's untidy and Lancashire fast up again this time through Tony Ireland and as Lancashire advance they win the put into the scrum nine minutes to go Six. Are those this time the drums of doom for Cornwall? And a bit of uh, footwork coming in. Penalty given with the uh, overzealous efforts to get at the ball which uh, produced a bit of reaction from Paul Will, the swing of the fist, when I think they thought that the uh, ball was being raked unsafely. So that sets Cornwall back to their own 22. Less than seven to go. Any form of score would at least put Cornwall on terms. A try, of course, would give them a one-point lead. Are their dreams of a back-to-back -back triumph to be thwarted? They have possession. Nance Kibble, Whitworth, Leite, trying up to the breakout. Brain to full-back Thomas. And Lancashire again, equal to every challenge thrown down. In fact, that time... Uh, Cornwall had brought Weeks across from the left flank. That's Kim Whitworth. Need to hurry to get it away. just uh, marshalling his troops, telling them to keep it cool, play the game down here, that's where they're safe. And Lancashire also have the throw, but Williams took it. And it was Atkinson with a superb pickup. Lead in from the right. Nance Kibble, Whitworth, Colin Leite, trying to build up the momentum. I think that was for a dangerous tackle. 
on Leite and he seemed to be stopped in his tracks a bit high and uh, the referee telling him not to react he'll deal with it and it's a penalty to Cornwall Kevin Thomas for position five minutes Lancashire 21 finals in the history of county rugby since 1889 and bidding to try and equal Gloucestershire's record of 15 wins at the moment they're on target to do that champions in 1990 when they beat Middlesex and here with uh, an unsung side holding the reigning champions to three points. Brain held midfield. Disciplined performances by Lancashire. But the kick's too strong. Four minutes to go. Three, four, three finals in four years. Five semi-finals in the last six seasons. And with a carryover of ten of the side that won last year, including this man, Glyn Williams. Brian Andrew was on the bench. He sets it up, 15 metres out. It's there for Nance Kivel. Whitworth, Colin Leighty looks for the opening. Wide out is Kevin Thomas. The pass is bad, but it's beautifully picked up now by Weeks. Ten metres out, still Cornwall. The weary legs trudge across field from the pack. The last three minutes of the contest, the touch flag is up on the far side. Cornwall not beaten yet. Just over two minutes remain. The anxiety of it all. Again, 40,000 or so Cornish men and women and families try to lift their team, their heroes, for a last effort that can bring glory. Pressure on Swarbrick. The pack pile in. They're held five metres out. They get the foot into the scrum. And this time, will they go for the pushover? they so nearly achieved earlier on in this half and Adrian Brick is injured Adrian Bick part of this gallant back row of Williams, Atkinson and Bick which was the back row of last year and the two flankers from 89. Tension still for Adrian Bick, former Cornish schoolboy captain of Cornwall under 21s, and in his 34th full county game today. They haven't conceded victory yet. will add to the tension of this scrummage as they gird their loins for what might be their last effort to pull this one back in front early but only for a matter of a couple of minutes after Kevin Thomas's penalty was overtaken by that uh, extraordinary try by Mick Jackson so it's nine points to six to Lancashire. We're into the last minute of proper time. It's Cornwall scrummage. Can they make something from this? They've got the extra man, Leite. They're adding the weight. They're going for the pushover. Can they keep the control? They're all driving. Nance Kibble is held. The whistle has gone already. It's another push in, put in. It's another Cornwall ball. 
into injury time. Is there to be a dramatic finale, a final twist yet? The extra players in the scrum. Can Cornwall control it? It's gone more than 90 degrees again. It's Cornwall's feed. the final drama yet to be played out. The extra players come in to try and balance the direction of the momentum of the scrum. It's gone round yet again. And once more, a metre or so closer this time, it's Cornwall's put in. Referee Ed Morrison, no doubt nerves too for him. The crowd chant this time the back row go with Nance Kibble. They changed the tack, but they've still got the scrummage because they, having broken off with the ball, were still going forward. Can Lancashire survive the onslaught? They've defended stoutly indeed. But Cornwall try again. The back row. Williams, Atkinson, two metres out. Atkinson again. Nance Kibble spins it. Whitworth. Natey couldn't hold it. Advantage being played, a knock on given. And the Lancashire players, I'm sure, sigh the deepest sigh of relief. The tantalising moments at the tail end of this game we've played two minutes of injury time already Swarbrick waits they make for Grayson he gets the kick in a safe haven for Lancashire Two and a half minutes of injury time played. Well, Cornwall have tried most of the options close in to the Lancashire line. The one they didn't attempt was a drop goal, which would have been enough to have forced extra time had one gone over. Andy Reid again. Possession available for Cornwall again. Nance Kibble, Whitworth, Dumbest Delaney, Kevin Thomas in the line, but the defence is up and equal to it. And Lancashire, with that effective tackle, get the put in. Tony Ireland and uh, Paul Grayson there, and what a sterling part Kenrick, Bibby, and Ireland have played in this Lancashire performance. A scratch side, remember, with only five from the semi-final victory. You've got to take your hat off to them for that. Scrummaged round more than 90 degrees. Coming up to four minutes almost of injury time, but it's a heel against the head. Perhaps a final chance, Nance Kibble, Brain, Tony Mee, the kick and chase, the cover's there from Wynn, which way will the bounce go, Wynn's there. To save the day for Lancashire. We've played four minutes of injury time, that might be it. Yes, the final whistle goes, and Lancashire have done it. They spoiled the party. Cornwall's day out ends in despair for the players who came so close to making it a remarkable double. But Lancashire had the spirit and the good team plan and deserve the generous applaud of the crowd and, of course, of their supporters. Lancashire triumphant. A sterling effort by what one must call really a scratch side against the county kings of the recent 
years, Cornwall. Well, I say their party is spoiled, but they'll have had a great day out, Will Cornwall, and enjoy the party too. But it's Lancashire with a magnificent effort brought together in unlikely circumstances, losing the strength of their oral contingent, but managing to keep their discipline and blend so well together against the odds. So no great pitch invasion today. And they're the number six, who I felt captain superbly. One couldn't hear the words, but you could see the action. And Mike Kenrick says it all there. A team effort and a proud day for many lads in front, as Mike Kenrick said, of a packed house. And for many of them, no doubt, the biggest day in their rugby careers. And that lovely rugby tradition as Cornwall line up to salute the victors, generously applauded too by the crowd. And I don't think anyone could deny the worthiness of Lancashire's victory. But what a defence of their title they made in this ADT competition. Well, it was close the last time they met in the final in 1969 when Lancashire beat Cornwall 11-9 in Redruth with a Chris Jennings conversion of a last-minute try by Tony Richards to win 11-9 in the days when John Burgess was coach and Dick Greenwood was captain. Now it's Des Seabrook of Oral and Lancashire who moulded this side into a workmanlike team under the captaincy of Mike Kenrick. And what a proud moment for that man, Des Seabrook. Well, he instilled the self-belief in the lads before the game, the underdogs, and that's a lovely moment with Kenrick and Seabrook together. team take their lap of honour as worthy defenders of their title but while they uh, take their bow Lancashire take their reward from Captain Mike Perry, immediate past president of the Rugby Football Union the ADT security systems county champions of 1992 <laughs> minus the top of the cup Mike Kenrick of Sale, an outstanding captain on the day. And Lancashire worthy champions for the 15th time in their history. And that equals the record of Gloucestershire in this competition that first began in 1889. So it's Lancashire representing the north of England that triumphed nine points to six against brave Cornwall.